Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do uh, what is their true feelings for you right now? So I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description a box below. Also, if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to be looking at the status of this connection. We're also going to be looking at... How do they feel about you? What does their higher self have to say about this connection? What's the actions that they're going to take? And some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So when it comes to Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how, what's the status of Aquarius's love interest feelings? Excuse me, what's the status of the connection? What's the status of the connection for Aquarius and Aquarius love interest? Give me nine cards for that. And give me nine cards for how Aquarius' love interest feels about them romantically. Give me nine cards for that. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here, Aquarius. All right, so we got the three of wands. We have the Devil card energy. We have the Queen of Cups. Let's move this over a little bit. We have the Knight of Wands, the Sun card energy, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Star card energy, and the Strength card. All right, so let's take a look at this so far. So it looks to me like the status is waiting for the right opportunity here. Waiting. So there's some kind of waiting going on. And somebody is longing for the other person. There may be a far away energy here. Okay. If it's not, it's just waiting for the right time. There's a strong attachment here. Okay. Strong, strong attachment. Lots of desires, obsessions. And also, someone is very overwhelmed with emotions. That's what I feel like from this Queen of Cups. Why do I say that she's overwhelmed with emotions? Well, this particular Queen of Cups, she's actually in the ocean. So you can see that she's engulfed in emotions, right? Water represents emotions. So it would say to me that for this particular person or this situation, there is a lot of emotions at play. And we're going to get more, more information here, Aquarius. All right, there's a very huge fear, though, also in this status of this connection, which is very interesting. All right, so what's going to happen, more or less, with the status of the connection when it comes to Aquarius? Aquarius love interest, give me nine cards for that. How does Aquarius' love interest feel about Aquarius' romantically? Give me nine cards for that. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I get the sense also from this devil card energy, just feeling like this person's like, I would, would love to just be trapped with you. And it's interesting also, cause there's some kind of cherry picking going on here. Okay, so we see there's waiting around for the right opportunity, the right time. There is this shock and surprise going on here and something secret. Okay, so there could be secrets around this connection or it could be hidden or there's concern. As I said, there's a lot of worries and concerns here in this connection. So uh, either you or this person is kind of keeping it from other people because they're just concerned of like what other people are going to say or think about the connection. Um, and it's like this is a sudden situation. So it was like it took, it took somebody by surprise. It could have took both of you by surprise. And you're just like, wow, I had these options, but wow, this particular person really is important to me and really does have the key to my heart here. Um, let's keep going. For Aquarius's status of their connection with their love interest, give me nine cards for that. 
how does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they know about, how does Aquarius's love interest feel about Aquarius's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, we see there was a friendship, or it could be that you guys are concerned about what the friends are going to say, or the, your person is. You can see there's an obsessive energy, but I get the sense since friends is next to obsession. Okay, you guys could be friends. Okay, this could be like I want to be more than just friends. I'm obsessing about this. I've been internalizing this very deeply, and also Knight of Wands shows me is like I want to jump through hoops here. Uh, I want to make this passionate action or take this passionate action towards you. You make me so happy, but I just can't show how happy you make me because I'm worried and concerned. I'm worried and concerned about what others are going to say or think. Yeah, we see there is definitely this passionate situation, strong desires, and what did I say? Also love, which is what I also picked up on because of the Queen of Cups. And I want to find the direction here, all right? So I want to communicate some things, but I'm stressing, worrying. All right, and I really want this to be a happy outcome for me, right? There's a sense of frustration in trying to be strategic here with the Five of Wands energy. Um, five of Wands can be angry, frustration, right? Also, if I go this way with it, obsessions, communication, hopeful that, you know, there's going to be a happy outcome. Uh, so for some of you, communication could be an issue here, like there may be a lack of communication or it's like, all right, how do I communicate this to this person? But there's five of wands saying there's a frustration, there's an anger and hopeful, but real scared energy, lack of confidence here. Here again, we see some kind of letter message documents and then someone's like watching from afar. Okay, how's this going to play out here? What, how are they going to react to this? And it's like, Somebody feels very overwhelmed, all right, or attacked or concerned, like, because there is a strong obsessive energy here, a lot of spying going on. We see stuff that's being done in secret, and there is this sense of happiness here, but a lot of confusion, a lack of clarity, and we see there's this big breakthrough coming in with a transformational card. So friendship, communication really makes happy obsession, stressful, because of lack of clarity, a lot of internal thinking, a lot of soul searching going on about uh, positive energy, about sense of happiness, which is a real break breakthrough for someone. So there is a person that's having a breakthrough here about the connection. Okay, so going down a layer here, there's an opportunity for desires, and we see this text message letter document, a shocking love connection. There could be a little bit of sly slickness, like someone's watching someone else secretly to try to find a direction and concerns about being overwhelmed or attacked about the situation. Okay. Let's keep going. I've been waiting to take a passionate action, but I'm frustrated. And also I get the sense there could be some jealousy too because of the, if I go this way with it, five of wands with the devil card energy, that could also show, you know, what happens when you get jealous, you get angry, right? And then there's this obsessive attachment quality here. So there is a lot of jealousy in the connection. And we see there's this happy energy, trying to be hopeful, trying to figure out, okay, what should I do emotionally here? And I'm worried and concerned, and I lack the confidence, strength, or courage, and confidence. Okay, I know I just said that. <laughs> okay, so let's move into how do they feel about you? Now we're going to look at your specific person. Okay, Seven of Wands. Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, good cards. Wow, Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Wow, Empress. Tower. That must have been them then. Seven of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so your person's like, I want to break free from this situation. I want to defend my position. I get the sense that you guys are very similar, like you fit together very well. It's like almost like you guys are like almost alike, actually. We see that there is this sense of wisdom, a lot of layers to this situation that this person feels like. Um, so I would say that this person is ready to defend their position, Seven of Wands energy, when it comes to a relationship because of family and long term. Okay. Wow, 
This person has love. I mean, this is the best card in the deck for this this uh, this this card deck. They have a strong love for you, and uh, they want to put their back into like some kind of effort here with a connection towards house and family. And you may, they may feel like you feel like home to them. This person feels like they want to make a, a power move towards you to heal this situation towards a commitment. So they definitely are interested in a commitment if there's not already a commitment going on here. So we see, yeah, your person just wants to be completely happy. They're seeing some really great signs and they, they do feel like you fulfill their desires here with the Nine of Cups energy. The Empress could show that they may want to start a family with you or they feel like you're so attractive or things have been really growing in the connection. This person feels like they want to bring things together towards what they want here with the, the uh, wish card again. It's clarified by another wish card. Um, and they want some kind of change here, some kind of movement here. So they definitely want to bring the connection together. Okay, so whatever's happened, they want, they want to fix it. They want to bring it together towards a, a wish that they have. They have the desire here because this attraction to have some kind of movement and change. We see people here and we see, or socializing, hanging out, spending time together, they're definitely seeing some kind of spiritual signs here. So they're gonna make a decision very soon. They are concerned about this big event here, this massive change here with the, the tower card energy, or they may have had a huge breakthrough, okay, with the tower card, because that's, that's whenever you see the major arcana, it's when something is beyond our control. The minors are everyday stuff, Okay, and uh, you know, but the when when something like the tower comes along, it's saying, "Oh my God, there's this massive change. I've had this huge breakthrough." And what's this about? About them spending time alone, about this isolation, about this loneliness, and the uncertainty about where they stand with you, and they're confused here about what to do with the seven, uh, seven of Cups energy when it comes to romance, and they're trying to be patient here. This person looks like they're like, I want to lock this down. You know, I want to hold on to you, Aquarius. And we see, because that's what they feel like that would be the wisest thing they could do here. But they are very cautious and defensive. So let's bring it all together. So your person's like, I want to make a power move towards you, Aquarius, to heal this commitment because of people involved. I did have some kind of spiritual sign. I do feel like we're spiritually connected and very soon I'm gonna make a decision, but I have uncertainty about where I stand with you. I'm trying to be patient. I wanna invest time in the connection, but I'm cautious and defensive about it. All right, let's go down another layer here. So we can see, I love you. I really wanna put the effort and work into the house, the family situation, to bring things together. You are who I want to be with. I want some kind of movement or change here from this loneliness, this isolation, this separation. Because I, again, I want romance and, you know, I feel like there's something spiritually connected between us. They may feel like you're very intuitive as well. I want to break free from this situation when it comes to this relationship because of family long term and you make me so happy. You fulfill my desires. I'm so attracted to you. You know, there could have been this pregnancy, fertility, or wanting to have a start a family. It was a huge breakthrough, a shock and surprise. They're confused about what to do here. They really want to hold on to you with the four of pentacles energy. So let's examine Aquarius about what their um, higher selves take on this connection is. All right, so how does Aquarius's love interest, higher self, perceive the connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay. So there's a slight disappointment here with the main person and that this higher self wants things to come together. This higher self says, wow, there's a lot of stuff that happened. Uh, there's a lot of regret. And there is this sense of being overwhelmed with it because of lack of, of effort. So like, it's like when one person puts more effort than the other person. What am I agreeing to here? There's this house, this family situation, and communication, but something sly and slick because of things to do with the past. 
there's this important opportunity for loyalty and friendliness. We see concerns about a breakup and something secret here because of something sly or slick and love. Let's look at the tarot as well. That was very interesting cards. Okay. How is Aquarius' love interest viewing this connection? Be clear and concise, spirit. Thank you. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. King of Pentacles. Okay, okay. I see. King of Pentacles is saying, okay, this uh, the higher self is viewing this as a very stable, wise decision when it comes to long term. Okay. Emperor shows me a sense of control and not letting others infringe because that's what I feel like with the Emperor. The Emperor is like, I don't care what's going on with these other people. I don't care what's going on with the situation. I'm not going to let this hold me back. I'm in charge here, right? I'm the one that's in charge here. I'm the one, like you can see, this Emperor looks like a king. I'm the one that's the king here, right? So I'm going to do, I'm going to take a leadership role because it's interesting because the Emperor is the major of the king energy, all right? Think about this. Emperor, so just like all of the, the empresses, like very similar to all of the queens, right? The emperor is the major of the king. So it's very interesting that two king kind of energies would come out. Yeah, and spirit wants this person not to be scared, but to be strong, to take a leadership role here, you know? To know that from their wisdom, their understanding of the past, they know what to do. They're gaining this wisdom, then they know what to do. They know how to take a leadership role here for stability and stableness. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so what action are they going to take towards you? What action is Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what ac action is Aquarius's love interest going to take towards them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. So they are taking an action, taking their time. They're taking an action though. And Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. So the, is this serious? Okay. Towards a potential offer opportunity. And Temperance is saying to bring things into balance or to heal because Temperance is a healing card. Okay. So if we see there's an action being taken, but a lot of overanalyzing towards a potential opportunity to bring things into balance, to heal the situation, to be patient. It's ending, they're ending a tough cycle. It looks like communication's coming in about love and burdens and responsibilities, 10 of wands energy. Okay, so let's see some advice for you guys. Obviously, I heard my neighbor's chair shifting, so Definitely means that there's some readjustments being made here. All right, so can I have some advice from my Aquarius? Why is best good for the best possible outcome for them? When it comes to their love connection, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so we got the time to go. Fair decision. Okay, so. With this situation, uh, Aquarius Spirit is saying for you guys, and, and keep in mind, I want to keep in mind, I'm only here as guidance, so you have to follow your heart and listen to your intuition. You have free will, okay? But it, they are suggesting that um, it may be time to walk away, all right? Um, you need a sense of fairness here in a decision, so it needs to be a fair decision in order to resolve this unfinished business from the past. And before you do anything, though, take the time to breathe, to figure out what you truly want within you, okay? So you have a sense of direction. And really focus in on what is truly going to make me happy with my situation. What is going to be my hopes, my wishes, right? Because there needs to be a sense of fairness because if it's not an equal give and take, if it's not a, an equal situation, it's not a fair situation, that that's not right to you. You're not valuing yourself. Okay, so you're, you're going round and round here. 
And I know when we get in these situations, we always want to ask ourselves, why, 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 why is it going like this? Why, why, why? Believe me, I, I can, I've, I've in the past definitely, I've put myself in a circle where I've been like, okay, let me just read more on this. Let me read more on this. Let me read. So, but spirit wants you to be at peace, okay, within yourself. Because it's about understanding your value and your worth. And every time you get yourself in that place of why, I want you to refocus that energy back on you. Because you're a high value person and you deserve that. You deserve the quality of, of the best relationship for yourself. And always keep that in mind. If you feel like someone is not living up to that, then you need to think to yourself, okay, am I happy in this situation? Reevaluate that. Spirit is saying you're going to see some good signs. When the signs, you see these signs, that's going to be the time to mend things. And you deeply know this because you've been getting messages about this. Okay? So at this time, we'll just say at this time, um, you're going to have to take a stand and walk away from the situation until there's fairness. Okay? Because you're going to keep going around in circles with this person. But there will be a time. There will be time when it is the right time. You gotta trust in divine timing here and things can be mended and you deeply know this. Unfortunately, sometimes with people, in order sometimes for them to realize our worth or our value, we have to walk away from situations that aren't serving this and aren't in our highest best good. And these are always lessons to say, okay, this, needs, this is the time spirit wants me to come back and focus back on myself, right? Spirit's like, okay, it's time for you to get these things done. I was listening to this one woman the other day, and she was saying when she had this situation where, you know, she had problems in her relationship, she realized she was like, you know what, I wouldn't have been able to be successful in this business if I got caught up in this situation. So, and then once she got on top of that, it, it cleared the blockages, and there you go, that person came right back in. So, a lot of times, there's a reason why this happens and we have to just trust in that sometimes even though it's very difficult to do so and I'm not going to say that I haven't been in your position either so all right my beautiful Aquarius is again I preface this I'm only here as guidance I love you guys so much and I do read my comments so I love hearing from you um, so if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation in the comments below I would love to hear from you um, if this resonates with you, if you want to claim this reading, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.